What's up, everybody? It is Zach of the Dark Conservatarian YouTube channel, and I hope that the weather is a whole lot better for you guys wherever you are at than I am right here. Um, so, in recent news, there is the whole debate over Roe v. Wade, and specifically the uh, SCOTUS leak in regards of Roe v. Wade. Like, I am not here to specifically commentate about the ruling itself or the leak itself, uh, because I do not know of what I can add that hasn't already been added or talked about ad nauseum by other pro-life commentators. But what I specifically want to talk about is something that is kind of in relation to Roe v. Wade, but specifically has been uh, cropping up more and more, especially within the recent few weeks. But I even like heard this argument a few years back, for that matter. And this is what I can sum up as the forced vasectomy argument. The idea of forcing all men to have vasectomies. And so, what I gotta say about this argument is that, is that it is one of the biggest fail, non-equivalent uh, arguments that I've ever heard from the pro-choice community, quite honestly. Uh, and one of the people that I've argued with over Facebook, he claims that uh, when that he has uh, brought forth this argument a few times to other pro-life men that they blocked him, which, if I was to give the benefit of the doubt, those men are doing a disservice to the pro-life community because it's so easy to destroy, quite frankly, this argument. Now, this argument is not equivalent. The idea of forcing a vasectomy on every single man as opposed to preventing or banning abortions from women is, uh, they're not equivalent to each other. Because one, the idea of banning an abortion, you are banning an action that inherently causes a death, that being the unborn baby, violates their right to life. But an ejaculation, an, a full-on healthy impregnating ejaculation, sorry to be lewd, y'all, which that is what a, a vasectomy essentially is supposed to cause, in spite of the fact that it may be reversible, but that is not... That doesn't matter to my argument right here, whether or not it's a uh, reversible. But that, the idea of a, a man being able to give a full-on healthy impregnating ejaculation does not inherently violate on anyone's rights at all. It does not cause a death. It does not even inherently cause a rape. Like, it's, it ties in a lot of times with a rape. But just because a man has that ability does not mean that they are automatically going to cause a rape or whatever. It's this in the same way that if somebody owns a gun, that does not always that does not inherently mean that they are going to kill an innocent party. Yeah, um, and even uh, for those two things that I brought forth, it does not even inherently mean that a man is going to cause an unplanned pregnancy, which then is uh, the. Uh, Another thing, another part of the argument as to why that uh, pro-choicers seem to be putting forth this uh, argument, this proposal, which, quite frankly, I don't know if um, all pro-choicers are unironically advocating that we all force all men as soon as they hit puberty to get ejac, or excuse me, to get vasectomies. I do not know if they unironically advocate for this. For all I know, there could be next to no pro-choicer or leftist in general that is advocating for this. And I, it could just be my retardation because I am kind of retarded when it comes to sarcasm. For all I know, the argument being put forth could just be sarcasm. It could all be sarcasm, but that doesn't matter. They put forth this argument to try and say that there is an irony, a hypocrisy or whatever. But the idea of banning abortion is that we're banning an unethical act, an act that violates on people's rights. When we want to ban or make something illegal, we want to ban or make it illegal because it violates other people's rights. And in the case of abortion, it violates the unborn baby's right to life. Plain and simple. But a man being able to have an ejaculation doesn't always uh, violate uh, other person's rights. Um, but another part of this uh, argument here is the idea that if all men was uh, forced to have vasectomies, then that would uh, reduce uh, abortions massively. It probably would even, uh, like, get rid of abortions entirely because, uh, hey, no more unplanned pregnancies and no more rapists uh, being able to impregnate women and whatnot. 
Yeah, and so would making sterile for good every single man and making barren every single woman. But that doesn't mean that it's the right way of going about of trying to prevent abortions. Heck, we could nuke the entire human race for that matter, and that would take abortions right down to zero. Does that mean that's right? No, it doesn't. And why is it that the idea of uh, forcing vasectomies on all men is wrong? Well, it's because it violates their bodily autonomy. It violates all of our bodily autonomy. And for anybody who might be outraging thinking that that's ironic for me to say, well, here's the thing. I am for bodily autonomy. I've said it since 2018 that I am for bodily autonomy in spite of the whole abortion issue. I don't care what a woman does with her body at all. She can get a transgender procedure for all, all I know, for all I care. I don't want uh, women to be banned from doing that or anything else like that. But the baby also has a right to bodily autonomy as well. She has a right to own her own body, but she doesn't have a right to violate the baby's bodily autonomy. Does that make sense? I hope it does. And for anybody who goes insisting that I am anti-bodily autonomy after saying that, I'm just going to chalk it up that you're either freaking stupid or a liar. Quite quite honestly. Uh, I mean, uh, rights are not always completely black and white. Understand? Understand. And so with the idea of uh, banning abortion, you're trying to we're trying to prevent the violation of bodily autonomy and the right to life of the unborn babies. And with the idea of vasectomies, of why that we're against uh, forcing vasectomies, is because we're also trying to preserve man, men's bodily autonomy. And also because of the idea that this, if we were to unironically put forth a policy that all men, as soon as they hit puberty, are to get a vasectomy, and maybe we can undo the vasectomy as soon as we determine that they are right. Like one person that I heard argue about this, argue this case, he said, uh... <sighs> I cannot remember what kind of test, but essentially he wants to put a man through a test of uh, some sorts. Men, all men through a test to see if they can qualify to get their vasectomies undone and so forth. Kind of scary, kind of Orwellian, isn't that? Yeah, the precedent being put forth, if we were to like put forth this policy, is that the government would literally be able to conduct population control on a massive scale that quite honestly humanity heaven hasn't ever seen before at least i don't think anyways is definitely unprecedented for the modern era even more than china for that matter i mean as far as i know china with their one child policy they weren't like forcing men to get vasectomies i mean i could be wrong on that but i think it's just that they were like forcing women to uh, get abortions if they were pregnant with their second child or whatever else uh, have you. But, I mean, I don't know. I, I could be wrong and they were forcing all men to get vasectomies. But that just, uh, if they were doing that, well, then that just uh, shows even more the fascism of China for doing that. On top of just the idea of a one-child policy in general. But yeah, I think I've uh, stated everything that I had to say about how the forced vasectomy argument is absolute bunk. Because, again, it's not equivalent uh, for a, a man not having a vasectomy. They're not inherently going to violate anyone's rights. They are not going to even inherently cause an unplanned pregnancy. Like, just because uh, bonehead body, Bobby, he ends up knocking up uh, Sally and uh, unplanned rather, and they cause an unplanned pregnancy together. It does not mean that Jim Johnson is going to cause an unplanned pregnancy. In fact, he might well be uh, responsible, Jim Johnson might, might be. So why should we make Jim Johnson suffer by having him get a forced vasectomy because of bonehead Bobby's boneheaded uh, actions? <laughs> or pl plausible uh, boneheaded actions. Uh, within the rhetorical situation that I set up there. So, again, a man being able to have an ejaculation, uh, not inherently violating of other people's rights, not even inherently causing of an unplanned pregnancy, um, 
whereas an abortion inherently causes a death. Thus, that's why we want it banned. And thus, uh, also why we see no reason to ban all, you, you know, forced vasectomies on all men. And the same reason that we don't want to ban all guns, because... Not everybody is going to use their gun on a uh, an innocent person. In fact, most people who ever own a gun in history are not going to use it on an innocent person. Definitely not maliciously, anyways. So yeah, um, if uh, you thought that my uh, arguments, my ramblings uh, here were uh, compelling enough, well then, by all means, share this video around uh, and go showing as to how that... Uh, the forced vasectomy argument is absolute bullcrap. So yeah, um, I am Zach of the Dark Conservatarian YouTube channel, and maybe I'll make a more articulate and more well thought out video than just a, a uh, uh, an off the top uh, rant vlog video here sometime in the future, but that'll have to wait until I get out of my hiatus. But nonetheless. I thought I'd just uh, start the conversation. Again, if you uh, thought that my arguments were compelling enough, share this video around. Comment down below uh, of what you have to say just in general about all this stuff. And I'll see y'all later. Good night and God bless.